So I recently removed the active preamp from my Ibanez base, and I really should have done this years ago, but I didn't know it was possible. So that's why I want to share it with you uh, so that you know that this is potentially an option. It's not going to work on every base, but if it does, it's pretty easy and free. And this helped me deal with some noise issues from electromagnetic interference. It should go without saying that you need to make sure that this will work with your base and that you know what you're doing, that you can find a wiring diagram and that you know how to solder. But assuming all of that, it's not too hard of a procedure to do. There are two main sources of noise in guitars and the first is grounding issues and this should be fairly obvious. It will be quite loud noise and then as soon as you touch the strings or the bridge or anything grounded, the pots, it will go away completely. That kind of noise is uh, something that needs to be repaired. You just need to find if there's a loose ground connection or some frayed wires and fix that, reflow some joints. Electromagnetic interference, like I've had with this, is a little more complicated. You do see it uh, with the 60 cycle hum on single coils, but this base actually has hum canceling pickups, so it shouldn't have any noise. And so it's something interfering with the preamp. The preamp is picking up some kind of noise and it would change depending on where I was in the room or what angle my pickups were facing. I don't exactly know what the source of that interference is. It could be anything, anything electronic. Uh, this is something you see with single coils, but it shouldn't happen on this base. And when I removed the preamp, it's gone. It's especially important for me recording high gain bass tones that there's no extra noise because when you start adding distortion and fuzz and things to that or a lot of compression, you're gonna have a really extra noisy signal and nobody wants that. It's not a good tone. I've dealt with it for years. It hasn't really been a huge issue, but I'm glad that it's not an issue at all. My other main bass, my Warwick Corvette Standard, has MEC dynamic correction pickups that are single coil and that has even louder noise. And I'm gonna be replacing one of those with a humbucker because I don't like the noise. The pickups are fine, I don't have a problem with them, but uh, the noise is an issue, especially when you start compressing things, when you start hitting them with distortion. It just makes all that noise that much louder and it's not a good thing. My bass is an Ibanez Soundgear SR505, and I looked it up. It was made in 2008 in Indonesia. The pickups are the Bartolini Mark 1s with the matching preamp. Those pickups are hum canceling, and they're also passive pickups. The preamp adds a three band EQ for low, mids, and highs, just a boost and cut circuit as well as, I suppose, adding some extra gain. The three-band EQ is something that I never use, and I'm actually happy to have it disconnected. For recording, I like to keep my instruments as consistent as possible, so I don't want to have the trouble up on one song and then forget it and have it lower on another song and then have to mix things differently. So this bass doesn't have a tone knob either. It only has a blend knob or a pickup selector knob, as well as the master volume knob which I'm also gonna swap out for a one mega ohm pot because it should hopefully um, make the bass a little brighter and livelier. The more components you have in your instrument circuit, the more chances there are for things to go wrong or just the, the dreaded tone suck, things just sort of sapping away some of your high end. So this preamp, it has a number of components. I'm not exactly sure what all of it does, but it's a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to be in my audio path, and I don't want it there. And and people online have complained that the pickups are really good, actually, but the preamp is not. So I wanted to get it out of there, and it's a fairly easy thing to do. If you have active pickups, they may require the preamp. So again, this is not going to work on every single bass, but there's a number of Ibanez bases as well as Court, which apparently are made in the same factory. The Indonesian Ibanez factory is owned by Court, so there are Court bases with this exact same pickup and preamp configuration. Not to mention, I see a lot of the sound gear bases in the wild. They're pretty popular. Here's the wiring diagram for this base. It is a little complicated, but thankfully there's really not much we need to do with this. All we need to do for this mod is connect the pickup leads to their spots on the blend knob, and then the blend knob to the volume knob, 
the volume knob is already connected to the output. So it was a total of about three wires that I really needed to switch around from the top and bottom of this blend knob. The pickups had their leads soldered together and heat shrinked, so I just separated those. I wired the positive side of the pickups to the middle pins of the blend knob and then tied the grounds together and lumped those in with all the other grounds. It doesn't really matter where you put those, they're all going to ground. Next, I need to disconnect the output of the blend knob and wire that to the volume knob. In the same spot, I just need a new bit of wire to run that signal, and then everything works fine. Um, and I don't need a battery in the base anymore. I don't have to worry about the battery dying. Um, it is a completely passive circuit now with just the volume and the blend. There's no tone in there, which is another thing that I never personally use for the same reason I mentioned before. I just like to keep my recordings consistent and I never need less tone. I only usually want things brighter because I can make them darker with EQ and other things. So I'm going to play you here a little demo of before and after this mod and, and how it affects the tone. I'll play it clean and uh, with compression, no noise gate, and then also with a high gain tone to really drive home the point, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you can do it, I do recommend it. If you're in a situation like me where noise is really not acceptable and this sounds like something you'd be interested in. Of course, you lose those EQ controls or uh, whatever other features your active preamp may bring, but it may be worth it to you like it is to me. And uh, that's all I have for you today. So as always, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.